location in Parkside. Overnight, an innocent woman was injured when she was hit by a bullet from a shootout that happened nearly two blocks away. And now the search is on for the suspects who fired dozens of shots. Action News reporter Charles Watson is live at police headquarters with brand new details on this case. Hey, Charles. Yeah, hey, Aliana and Alicia. Police say they found more than four dozen shell casings scattered throughout that scene in Parkside. And now, with no suspects in custody, investigators are now combing through security video in the hopes of tracking down the shooters. Philadelphia police are searching for the shooters who fired dozens of rounds on a residential street, wounding at least one person. It happened around 1140 Thursday night on the 5400 block of Wyalusing Avenue near North Conestoga Street. Police say they found 58 shell casings at the scene. Clearly, two separate caliber semi-automatic weapons were being fired. The gunfire traveled nearly two blocks where police tell Action News a 23-year-old woman described as an innocent bystander was wounded once in her left arm as she was standing at the intersection of 53rd and Wyalusing. The victim had left her house to go to a 24-hour store. We're told when she heard the gunshot, she started to run but fell shortly before she was able to get help nearby. And that's when she passed down a motorist who <laughs> transported her to Presbyterian Hospital. At least two parked vehicles, including this one, were hit by gunfire. Police say the suspects fled the shooting scene. However, they tell us investigators are looking at security video from real-time police crime cameras and a nearby store in hopes of identifying those who were involved. Meantime, Chief Inspector Scott Small says folks who live in the area are fortunate nobody else was injured or killed for that matter after so many rounds were fired. We're very, very fortunate that there's only one shooting victim who's stable she's shot in the arm that's a whole lot of shots fired in this mainly residential area yeah, and again, at last check, the 23-year-old woman who was shot is listed in stable condition. If you have any information about this case that could help police identify or track down the shooters, they want to hear from you. For now, we're live in front of police headquarters. Charles Watson.